no oi is a girl okay so good evening everyone uh, welcome to this session and good evening. Thank first you. okay so first of all let me tell something about ielts because mo most of the people are not aware of it and i just want to give you uh, some brief introduction about ielts like what it is actually the full form of ielts is international english language testing system and the conducting body of ielts is idp if i have to tell like uh, what is idp then idp is international development program of australian universities and colleges and uh, ielts australia joined cambridge english language assessment and the british council to form the international partnership so they conducted this ielts and anyone who wishes to pursue higher studies abroad or wants to work abroad can attempt the ielts idp exam and it have two training like one is academic those who are uh, who want to study in abroad for them academic and who want to work or uh, want to live there then for them general so it is the world's most popular english language proficiency test for higher education and global migration and if i have to tell about the uh, cost of ielts ielts test then it's around i n r 14700 15600 uh, now sorry sorry to interrupt you <laughs> it's i n r okay but uh, i think around uh, april okay maybe it change okay okay so if i have to tell the band score then ielts test results are reported in band score from uh, 1.0 the lowest to 9.0 the highest and we will receive an overall band score as well as individual band score for each test section listening reading writing and speaking and if i have to tell about the syllabus then ielts syllabus consists of four compulsory section listening reading writing and speaking section uh, the listening and reading section of ielts syllabus will remain the same for both as uh, general and ielts academic uh, however the writing and speaking sections uh, will vary in terms of this content uh, for both uh, general and academic and here in this session i will uh, take a session related to speaking module only because uh, it's hard to take the writing and listening here and reading as well so yeah if i have to talk take about the uh, parts then there's three part in uh, i'll speaking the part one is introduction and interview sorry i got unmuted uh, muted okay so uh, in introduction uh, the part one uh, we need to answer a question about ourselves our home family job studies interest and other familiar topics and part two is about independent long term and where examiner will give us a topic a uh, variably on a card uh, which is known as cue card and where we will have a minute to prepare a talk and after that we should speak for 2 minute on that topic and part 3 is discussion where we will uh, have a longer discussion about the topic which introduced in part 2 okay so let's start i already mentioned a lot of thing okay so there's uh, someone uh, i think uh, who told that they are not uh, preparing for ielts so let me clear something here like it's not uh, uh, extremely spe specific to ielts because mm -hmm. i'll ask some questions which are like uh, related to ielts but which we usually use in our daily life so it's not that tough it will help us to improve our uh, speaking skills okay so let me start the part 1 and let me tell you the do's and don'ts so first of all be aware of question types and don't give one or two word answer and try to make uh, your answer uh, so uh, related to examiner's questions like whatever i mean valid point only okay okay so let's start who who would like to come up first uh, i sign verma i would 
five out really good ones to give it a you shot. were the same person right who mentioned about that uh, um yes i mean uh, okay. cash, yeah cash. i thought yeah, it's yeah. 2020 april one you know that's why i thought it's the correct time then i realized oh it's not 2022 i mean whatever i mentioned 14700 that's uh updated in 2021 i recently booked yeah. miles exam which is why i paid 14600 now okay okay was, i got it you know okay anyway thanks for that yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's fifteen uh, thousand. Fifteen thousand six hundred, and if you pay it online, you have to pay one fifty rupees more. So it will nearly goes to sixteen thousand. Okay, okay, okay. So, so okay, so let me ask you the question. So first, uh, yeah, sure. would you like to introduce yourself? Well, my name is Sahil Verma. I'm twenty eight. I'm working as a mathematics lecturer in a university. I've been working there for the past three years and it's been a learning and a satisfying experience for me. Uh, as far as my, as my qualification is concerned, I have done my MSc mathematics and BA in 2019. And then I started, you know, uh, 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 working as a mathematics lecturer in a university. Okay, so yeah. would, would you like to go for academic or general? I would surely would, would go for you know uh, generalized because my profile is eligible for express entry i have my masters from canada and uh, i have a working experience of nearly three years and my art score is also you know uh, desirable which whatever the requirement is i have scored my arts though i want to uh, you know uh, enhance my score to eight bands which is why i was thinking for you know to attempt arts which and i want to go for general arts again Okay, okay. Actually, I thought maybe for PhD, you want to go, that's why I was asking that. Okay, so the topic is health. And the question is, do you have any specific diet? Well, if I have to be honest with you, I don't follow a diet routine. I wake up early and the first thing I have is I have light breakfast and I, I take lunch by 12, 12 o'clock at the noon. And I do, you know, have high, uh, you know, heavy lunch uh, in the afternoon, though I do not take uh, my dinner because I think uh, it, it is better to have high, you know, diet in the, uh, in the afternoon and light, you know, light meal in the dinner, which would be easy to, to, for, uh, for digestion. However, I don't have a strict diet routine. I just follow this, you know, this routine for my whole day. Okay, how yeah. often do you go for medical checkups? That is once in a blue moon, uh, you know, task for me. Whenever I, you know, I feel that there is a need for me to pay my uh, visit to doctors, then I surely go for it. Uh, for instance, if I'm feeling low and if I'm, I feel that I'm suffering from a fever, then I usually go for medical checkups. Otherwise, I don't go. Okay. Do you like playing sport? Well, uh, I I do like, you know, it, I, it is quite fascinating uh, for me to play sports, though I have a, uh, you know, a, a kind of strict root, uh, routine, which is why I don't have much time to play sports. I can't even join, uh, join a gym because of my, you know, busy schedule. I'm spent my whole day. I take my classes for uh, 11 to 12 hours a day, which is why I don't get much time, though I usually would like to, uh, include sport in my you know uh, routine for sure in, in upcoming you know times how often do you exercise or play a sport well uh, in uh, you know if i have to be real i do not do any exercise and i know it is it is a bit risky for me though i do not get get much time in the evening whenever i wake up i in the morning whenever i wake up i I always think that I will be exercising at that moment. However, the moment I wake up, I, you know, I, I just uh, read and I get freshened up for my job because I have to reach there by, uh, you know, uh, at, at my earliest convenience. And then that time passes quickly and then I don't have much time to exercise in the evening as well. So it is not in my routine. Okay. Thanks for your answers. So uh, let me uh, give you some feedback if you want. 
Like, yes, please, uh, please. First of all, you are using you know a lot of time. In the first question, you use it for six times, and second question, it was okay. good. And you use uh, once in a blue moon. It's a good good phrase, which means really. So it's really good to use those. So that's a good feedback. And everything was fine. But the thing is, try to use you know less. Okay. Try your okay. best. It will be helpful for you to get a good band. So, would you like to uh, uh, jump to the next part? Like, uh, yes, I'm, in, I'm fully in. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sure. Uh, you need to wait for some minutes because I need to take some questions to others. Part one question. After that, uh, I'm going to share some cue cards. You should prepare okay. it. Then take one and. Then you need to express, okay? Okay, okay. till then you should wait. Okay, thanks for right, your time. Thank you, thank you. So, who would like to come up next? Who would like to come up next? Um, Mammy Monsoon. Is there anyone who would like to come up? Okay, so I, uh, with just a, a second, I'm just saying the cue cards. Okay, so those uh, who are really interested to attend the cue card session, they can practice. Till then, I will take the part one questions. Okay, so Monsoon, am I audible to you? Are you there? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. okay, so would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Monsoon. I'm from Uttarakhand, and I'm preparing for a, uh, for for a test that is going to be held next month uh, uh, in a public school for a teacher post. Okay, so tell me about a typical day in your life. Uh, can you repeat your question? Tell me about a typical day in your life, daily okay. routine. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Daily routine or a typical life? Is this typical day in your life? It could be any day. Just take one day and just explain it. Most of my most of the time, my days start at uh, seven. Uh, sorry, uh, five thirty a.m. At that time, I uh, wake up. My day starts with uh, lukewarm water. I, every day I do um, exercise, half an hour exercise, and then I start preparing uh, for one hour. I devote to my studies what all I am going to face in the in that test. So I prepare for that, uh, that. and later on because I am staying at home, not working anywhere right now. So then, rest of the day I am at home uh, watching some videos in uh, YouTube which are relevant for my studies and a mm, little bit household work also I do. So that is my daily routine. Okay, so let's talk about friends. Who is your best friend? Mm, um, there are only, I don't have too many friends. Uh, one of my best friends, uh, she was in my previous school where I was teaching. So it is close to me. Whatever problem I face, I will always share with her. And she also feels comfortable to share her problems with me. So I feel very uh, ease when I share any problem to her. Why do you call this passion your best friend? I call her best friend because uh, I think we have good tuning with each other. Uh, and... Um, I feel very comfortable with her. Whatever I want to share, I can share freely with her. So I call her my best friend. Her company okay. gives me in comfort. Do you have a lot of friends? No, not many. Only she is my best friend. A part of this, only three or four more friends I have. In your free time, would you prefer to be alone or to be with friends? It depends on the situation. Sometimes I want to be free. 
when basically I'm studying that I only prefer to to do alone. Um, and um, sometimes I like in weekend I always like to hang up with uh, hang out with my friends. Okay, thanks for your answers. So let me tell you one thing. Like when I ask that who is your best friend, try to give a name. It could be anything. It may be not true, but try to give a name. Okay, okay, and try to explain the answers. Like uh, not like like yeah. Uh, no, I don't have a lot of friends. Not simply like this. Try to explain. Um, or one more thing I want to uh, tell. Like when I ask you like. Why do you call this person your best friend? Then I called her because of. So if you uh, use the same sentence, whatever they are mm -hmm. in the question, so try mm -hmm. to use something uh, more like uh, because of her unique qualities, I feel like she's my best friend. So something mm -hmm. like that. I think yeah. you are getting my point. Okay. Mm -hmm. So would like to come up next. Who would like Hello. to come up next? Hello. Yes. Repeat the question again, please. Yeah, I will ask you. So, Lily or Asutos? Bo yes. I think Lily. Okay, so Lily, would you like to uh, go? Because yeah, Asutos, uh, Lily. I want to... Okay, okay. Uh, because uh, Lily asked for us. So... My voice is coming to you or not? Okay, your voice is audible. So, would you like to participate or not? Yeah, yeah, I. Okay. Okay, so what's your good name, please? Uh, yeah, my good name is Lelima. Okay. What would yeah, you I like me to call you? You what can call you? me Lily. Yeah, you can call okay. me Lillian. How did you get your name? Um, actually, this is my nickname. It, uh, it is called by everyone. And uh, uh, it is basically given by my mom. And the good name is uh, the official name. And this is quite popular in my community. Okay. Does your name have a special meaning? Um, I, I I don't know about my good name, but uh, like uh, Lily means a flower, um, which is grown in uh, waters, and uh, yeah, as it is a flower, so um, like it, it means. Uh, something which is subtle and um, lovely, like uh, some feminine qualities. Is that okay? Okay, so let's talk about family. Can you tell me a little about your family? Okay, I uh, belong to a nuclear family, and um, we consist of five members that includes um, my parents, my grandpa, and uh, one elder brother, including I. Okay. Are you married? No, I am not married yet. Tell me about your grandparents. Yeah, um, my grandparents, uh, like now, um, I have my grandfather only. My grandfather has passed away uh, since I was um, 18 year old. And since then, um, here is my only grandfather. And he is so uh, like a devotee of Lord Krishna. And uh, he always advised us to do something, do thing in our life. And he is so um, like um, optimistic.
empathetic person always motivate others and uh, like um, he is so active also yeah okay how would you describe your father's character uh, could you come again how would you describe your father's character my father character yeah well um my father is uh, efficient and uh, we, as we live in a place area so uh, he is uh, farming here and he is so calm and composed he always try to be minimal in work as well as in talk also like um, everybody in our surrounding loves my father he is such a lovely man i must say and um, uh, he is so um, he has a uh, peace of mind and down to earth and uh, he is so responsible too. Okay, okay, thanks for your answers. Uh, I just want to say, like, your answers are good, but you are a little slow. So, it's fine if you are slow, but your answers are correct. So, what I want to mention here, like, your sentences would be crystal clear, and it should be correct. And uh, it will be uh, automatically fine. And try to, uh, try to speak quite uh, fast like not more but if you practice more then it will automatically uh, fine okay so who would like to come up next yeah. thank you scarlet okay no stop no stop okay but yeah. uh, okay okay sure okay so, so would you do like I need to... to do i need to choose any of the cue card from the group no, no. I mean, this time, uh, part one session is going on. After that, I will take the part two session, okay? It's the part one? Okay, okay, yeah. go on. Okay, so would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, I would like to introduce myself. Uh, I don't want to reveal my real name, but still, it is mentioned here, Nostock. So, I am Nostock. I hail from northern part of India. And I am doing job, actually. I have done my qualification, and this is it about me. Okay, so let's talk about neighborhood. Describe your neighborhood. Okay, my neighborhood. So where I am living right now, the environment of my neighbor is very good neighborhood because neighbors are really well. They are cooperative. They are helping in nature. And whenever I am in dire need, they always come to me and ask what they can do for me. Okay. How long you have you lived here? I am living here since my birth. And I am loving my home. I am loving my area and locality. Because there is a beauty. As I mentioned, they have a supportive nature. And they always stand in every thick and thin of mine. And I am also. Okay. Have you not noticed a lot of changes during that time? Yes, I have observed a lot of changes since earlier days to now. Like nowadays, people are too much busy. Of course, uh, competition is here. Everyone wants to win that race. Of course, the reach of a competition and they are more into their jobs. They don't have much leisure time to interact with their neighbors. So this, this is the only change which I have observed. Okay. Do you like the place where you live? I love the place where I am living right now because see, again, the place is really beautiful because I am surrounded by a nature. 
we have a falls we have a ghats we have a mountains we have every single things which is really soothing your mind and heart ultimately people wants calmness at the end of their day okay thanks nostalgic for your answer so uh, let me uh, give you some feedback like you yeah. uh, were using uh, i am leaving here since by my bad so i think it's wrong i mean it's not present continuous tense right yeah it's a past yeah yeah so i have okay. been leaving yeah so, i got to i le- my okay, bad so. yeah i will rectify yeah. it yeah so uh, whenever we are talking that time we forget the correct yeah. grammar and all but the thing is during ielts uh, exam uh, i mean it will reduce our mark it will reduce our band score so yeah and uh, try your best not to use c in between your answer like c this things is there something like that and uh, you were uh, using like we have falls we have this we have mountains so rather than saying uh, we have we have we have a lot of time you can say we have falls mountains so try to make the sentences short but crystal clear hope you are getting me yeah thank you scarlet for your valuable feedback i will keep all these points in my mind so thank okay. you Okay so yeah so who would like to come up next after 7:40 hello i will take yes avi okay um, so yeah introduce yourself can you hear me yes hello no one here audible after hello. avi i will yeah, ask my... you hello yes yeah. avi hello my name is My name is Avinav. I am from Bihar, and uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. I think, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So, what do you do usually at weekends? weekends i usually study i re- i do revision i do mocks hello okay so let's talk about holiday yeah holiday like okay, sunday let's... or no uh, let me ask you what kind of holiday do you like is a festival one like durga puja durga puja holiday diwali holi the day we are we, are, we get to we are together at, at that time our family members are there with us uh, everyone my friends we can celebrate with them uh, we can enjoy them we have some lots of uh, dishes are there so we can cook cook each other we can cook some good dishes okay yeah so which would you prefer traveling alone or traveling in a group traveling in a group for sure because i love traveling and uh, traveling with a friend is like a, a dream for me right now so i love traveling and i love to go there and have maggi with each other maggi and have and uh, we we have we do lots of this like photo okay. shooting and lots of funny things yeah okay what method of travel do you enjoy most what method I love of beaches, travel so i would like to go metro travel it uh, it would be anything like uh, maybe train maybe flight uh, anything maybe bike also i love traveling car also okay so thanks for yes. your answer but uh, 
you need to practice a lot i think because uh, during talking you are yeah, sometimes yeah. in some then lots of then it will be like fumbling right so yeah try to uh, make some sentences in your mind and automatically try to speak so for these things we need to practice a lot so only practice will help us so thanks for your time so who would like to come up yeah, next yeah. thank you may i um alone i'm wow. ready Okay. Okay. No, so, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah. Why yeah. Not? Uh, my name. Javed. Okay. Today. So, would you like? Yes. Sure. Yes, of course. Uh, my okay. name is uh, Javed Akhtar. I am from Chhattisgarh, India. Chhattisgarh is a state, and my district name. Okay. Okay, so next question is, um, how did you get your name? Are you there? Hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm yes. here. How did you get your name? How did I get my name? My elder sister, uh, her name is Naima. She gave me this name, and my. Uh, brother and sister have uh, two names like Hanu, Monu, Sonu, this kind of. But I don't have any uh, second name or nickname. I only have this name, Javed Akhtar. And it is uh, is to okay. So let's uh, talk live about forever. yeah. Okay, let's talk about hobbies. What do you usually do in your free time? Uh, what do I do in my free time? In my free time, I try to uh, use this kind of apps which can help me to improve my English or communication because uh, English and communication plays a vital role for your professional growth. That's why uh, I use uh, the these kind of apps in my free time. and also sometimes uh, I watch a reels uh, on YouTube um, and uh, English related to reels I prefer is to watch uh, it. Okay, what was your childhood hobby? My childhood hobby. Uh, my childhood hobby. Hello, guys. What's uh, your chat? Let me going think a here? little. Um, and. Uh, yeah, go uh, on, go on. My, my childhood was to. Um, you are not audible. Okay, so I think he is busy. So who would like to come up next? Who would like to come up next? Or, okay, I should go to the queue cut station right now. Okay, sure. Hello? Leave. Yeah, no, I'm here. I'm here. Hmm. I'm here. Okay. Did you ask something? Okay, okay. How often do you go to the cinema? How often? Whenever uh, when uh, good movies take place, uh, a release in that uh, I go cinema, and it all depends on my um uh, weekends or the holidays leave time. If it is leave or uh, the holidays there, uh, then definitely I go to cinema. First, I ask with my friends whether uh, they are free or not. If they are free, so I go with them. Otherwise, I go alone. Okay, Javed, thanks for your time. You spoke really very well. One mistake I got, it's like you are using good movies, takes place. So good movies are plural. And you are using takes. So it's wrong, right? Uh, like uh, 5 plus S and ES only occur in case of third person singular number. So good movie takes place is correct. But good movies takes place is wrong. Are you getting my point? Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, slip of tongue. With singular, we we have to use s or yes. Uh, present simple tense yeah. requires this, right? Yeah, yeah. 
got the point okay okay thanks for and your time any so feedback we'll... actually uh, scarlet i, I want to mention. know one thing i i want mm -hmm. i have a question can i yeah sure actually when i uh, speak i can speak english but uh, do you know uh, what's wrong with me i don't use uh, the um, uh, what should i say the fillers you know i mean to say this i know mm -hmm. but i am unable to implement this kind of uh, words that's why sometimes uh, i sound like i am fumbling i am stuttering um, so this kind of uh, sound i make uh i'm able to implement i know many fillers moreover and uh, you know i, 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 uh, I mean i mean so how to implement uh, those fillers i think that's a good thing you know if you are using a lot of fill that's also not good like if you are using you know you know you know all the time then your answer will be like not that good you know so it will automatically mm -hmm. come try to practice a lot and try to use less fillers and try to use sentences and if you speak a lot then automatically this fumbling issue will go i mean it will reduce automatically so the only thing we can do is practice so everything if you want to be a good singer a good instrument player so only thing we need practice so in every purpose we just need to practice okay so who like to come up next i want to speak Please. rohu yes okay okay so we Hello. are about to end our part 1 session so would you like to join for part 2 or part 1 rohu hello part 1 please yes hello noa yes you are audible would you like to participate which one okay okay uh, yeah, after would, rohu i, I will, will ask you okay okay so rohu so are you comfortable with part 2 i mean have <laughs> you checked no, no. have you checked part the one. cue cards then i'll come up later if you are doing part 2 okay okay then Where let me the ask part? you part 1 only then uh, guys let me tell you one thing i already share some cue cards just take those prepare those and you need to talk for 2 minute on every cue card so check the pin messages there some uh, cue card are already given okay so rohu let me ask you the part one question so okay. yeah so Oh, oh, I think introduction is fine. I already know you. Okay, so let's talk talk about country. Okay. Okay. What is the population of your country? It could um, be anything. Just give. Yeah. Okay. So there is a lot of population in my country, and uh, people are above one million, and most of the people. Uh, reside here because of their job or educational purpose because in my country there are every facility available yes okay so uh, next question is how would you describe the climate of your country here there are like kind of uh, weather and like there are four seasons and uh, according to the season the weather and climate are set uh, like winter rainy and uh, monsoon summer so in these seasons uh, uh, during some of the months there is a uh, warm weather and during some of the worst months there are there is cold weather and also rainy weather <laughs> okay okay what is the most popular sport in your country the most popular sport in my country is cricket and uh, it is uh, played uh, uh, by the two teams and uh, even most of the youths uh, are tend to play cricket in uh, with their neighbors so it is the most popular and uh, favorable sports in my country what is the largest city in your country largest city in my country is hyderabad where i reside and uh, here uh, we can find a lot of it companies as well as uh, uh, educational facilities are there and there are some also 
places to visit like Charminar, Golconda Fort, and yeah, that's it. Okay, can you describe a national festival of your country? Yeah, my national, the country's national festivals are Republic Day and Independence Day. It is uh, uh, cele- celebrated uh, because of uh, Independence of India on 15th August, and recently it has gone. We celebrated with uh, my, I celebrated with my family friends. Okay, okay. Thanks for your time. Your answer is very good. But one thing is monsoon is monsoon is uh, the rainy season, correct? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you are using monsoon rainy season again and again. Okay, so it was fine. I mean, I already and... take some session of yours. So I feel like today uh, you spoke better than before. Okay, so mm-hmm. good going. Thank you. Okay, so who and... would like to? Yes, Rohu. Hello. As I said, you can lie. So I just lied. I said Hyderabad and one. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, that's why I'm telling. Like, even okay. though you don't have much idea, proper idea, but you try to give the answer. So that's a good thing. Okay, so Elon Walker, are okay, you there? Thank you. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, so would you like to introduce yourself? Okay, uh, my name is Raj. I belong to UP and I live in Prayagraj. And I have done my graduation. And nowadays I'm preparing for government India. It's all about myself. Okay, so let's talk about food. What Sorry? is your fav- food? Food. Okay, okay, food. What is your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food is uh, uh, cheese, cheese and bread. Okay, are you good at cooking? Yeah, I am good at cooking, and now I am cooking. Okay. When uh, do you eat out? Uh, I mean outside. Uh, when I, fe- I when I don't feel like to cook the food, so I go. I usually I go to uh, outside and I take my food. Otherwise, uh, I prefer to cook myself and I eat. Okay. Where do you mm. usually eat out? Sorry. Where do you usually eat out? Okay, uh, usually I use uh, usually I go to uh, there is a one dhaba, and I go there and I take uh, food there because uh, he prepared like uh, he gives um, uh, pipe in hot uh, foods so uh, I like them. Okay. Mm. Any other question? Yeah, what is your favorite drink? Uh, my favorite drinks actually I don't uh, uh, drink anything so like uh, just I take water so it is good for me. I don't like uh, cold drinks and uh, other things uh, I don't like milk. I like only curd. So I okay. eat curd and I drink. Yeah. What are some kinds of food you never eat? What uh, are like, some uh, kinds of food you never eat? Uh, like uh, fast food, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of fast food. I don't know their name and I never seen them. So that I think uh, I have never tried. But in the future, if I will get a chance, so I will do it. Means I will try and I will eat. Actually, I, I, I okay, always so avoid the fast food. Okay, thanks Alonwa for your uh, answers. But the thing is that when I ask you what is your favorite food, you are like, siege. But you need to explain why you like it. I already Are mentioned it? in the beginning. Like, don't just give one or two words and share. Okay, okay. okay. Next time I will, uh, I will, I will care about it. Okay, and do one thing. If you miss the first, uh, I mean, beginning of this session, then just mm-hmm. check our YouTube channel. I will upload this. Then you you will have a good idea about IELTS exam, the part. I mean, uh, there's three part of speaking. So I already mentioned these things in the very beginning of the session. Okay. okay? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay, so I will pin the link. Then you will, you can uh, visit that. Okay. And, okay. Yeah. yeah. And one more thing, you were using like uh, I uh, like uh, in instead of and you use and. 
uh, I forgot actually. Uh, okay, yeah, I was asking, oh, are you good at cooking? You were like, yes, I am good and cooking. So this is like slip of tongue. So try to uh, speak slowly, but try to try your best. Don't do this kind of mistake. Okay. And one more thing, you are like, I am usually uh, go go to a thaba, correct? But you are using, I am usually go diyaise thaba. So, sentence is not correct, right? So, try to make one sentence. Are you getting my point? Yeah, I am getting, I am getting to. Yeah, you are like, I am usually, uh, sorry, I usually go to a thaba, which is nearby my uh uh, house or anything okay but you are mm. like you use uh i usually go to dhaba di say dhaba so sentence is in incorrect are you getting my point yeah i'm getting to. okay thanks for your time alone work so let's go to okay. the part two q card session so who would like to come up i already give five q card so who prepared those Anyone who can prepared? Also, can we also yeah. speak again? Yes, like those who participate okay. for part one, they should also. Okay, 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 I'll come up later. Okay, so anyone who would like to uh, speak about those cue cards, you should check that, prepare for a minute and try to speak. Okay, so who would like to explain? Any few card, just choose anyone and try to speak. It's not Hi. like a real exam. Okay, Shuria, would you like to speak? Uh, just now, I uh, just now I joined the group. Uh, let me know where is that few card. I already pinned it. Check the group. You pinned it. Pin messages. Okay. Rainbow words of the day. Are you getting like this five cue card? One describe a time when you were stuck in a traffic jam. Second one is describe an invention that has changed how people live. Third one is describe a family member whom you would like to work with in the future. Fourth one is talk about an important river or lake in your country or hometown. Fifth one is talk about a traditional mm -hmm. object of your country or talk about a traditional product of your country that you bought. Uh, Are you able to get those? Check the pin messages of the group. Okay, you give me a topic I can talk based on that. I'm searching, but I'm, it's difficult. I'm not getting that. Okay, okay, so I should ask you the part one questions only. So, would you like to introduce yourself? Okay, yeah, sure, I can. Uh, first of all, hi, friends, this is uh, Surya uh, from Karnataka, and myself, I've completed recently, I've completed my graduation, the 2 BCom, and right now I'm searching for the job. And uh, I felt that this is a good platform to learn English as my English is not up to the mark. That's the reason I've been here. That's all about me. Okay. Okay, so I think you are not aware of that. It's I speaking session is going on here. So do you have uh, any idea regarding uh, I speaking session? Or I'll speak. IELTS, yeah, there is an there is an English course. I hope so. IELTS. No, Training. it's not a course. It's an exam. Okay, I already mentioned this thing in the beginning. If you want, you can check the YouTube. Uh, if I I will post after this, uh, session, mm -hmm. then you can you will have some idea. So, uh, yeah, whenever in IELTS, if someone will ask mm -hmm. you like introduce yourself, so try to uh, say the basic thing only. Okay, I think you get. Okay, so let's talk about hometown. Okay, first okay. question is. And before that, Scarlett, let me let me let me ask. Um, uh, is my English is good to take up that exam? Um, yeah, but you need 
Do some Give me straight answer. Do some Give me straight answer. answer. So, see, let give. me listen you first. Like, I just listen your one question, correct? So, try to give this, the answer of this question, then I will give you okay. the feedback, okay? Okay, I then okay, so, okay, so the question is, okay. what do you like best That's about good. your city, village, or town? Okay. See, as I told you, I'm from Karnataka, and particularly I stay in Mysore. Uh, Mysore is a, Mysore is known as historical city, and we do have palace here, and we have some famous food uh, has been introduced from this place itself. That too, especially masal dosa, and you people are aware of this Mysore Park sweet, sweet called as Mysore Park, and I love it especially that uh, Mysore Park, uh, and usually in this. Uh, Navaratri time, we we will do a jambu savari here with a, uh, 750 kgs of aura. Uh, this elephant will carry that aura. Okay, that is an uh, historical event. Every year we are going to celebrate, and most of the tourists are going to visit Mysore at that time itself. And that is uh, one of the unique uh, thing. and we are all blessed especially i blessed to belong to this place okay and okay weather wise also weather wise also What? it is good uh, okay let me ask okay so um, how would you describe the climate of your hometown climate yeah climate is it is climate is always beautiful when it come uh, when it comes to uh, seasons it will react like uh, on that season itself almost year it is not too much heat or too much cold it is in the moderate stay it is it's in the moderate uh, this thing okay and i enjoy okay. this climate here okay what are the people like in your hometown what are what are the people like in your hometown sorry i did not get you i mean the nature of people in your hometown nature of people people are very kind and helpful here they res- they respect each other uh, oh, okay like so okay so thanks a lot for your time surya so let me give you Thank the you, feedback Kari. yeah definitely you can go for ielts uh, we need practice see if be, i have to just before go, that before that let me tell be very honest with you with your uh, this thing okay uh, yes i will speak you give me on. your honest answer on that yes okay. yes i'm giving you the honest answer only see if i have to tell about myself then i also need some practice if i have to go to ielts okay i'm also preparing for ielts so the thing is that uh, everyone can there's nothing like impossible and so if uh, the main thing is practice if we will practice a lot then it will be uh, beneficial for us definitely and uh, if i have to tell you the mistakes you have done is like you are using usually we will so usually use in case of present uh indefinite correct and we will is for future so try to learn grammar correct grammar is mandatory in case of ielts and during talking like giving the answer don't use okay okay are you getting okay should sure, are you getting my point Ah yes yes I am listening to you. Okay, so are you getting? Yes yes I am getting you. Definitely you can. Okay, so so okay it's already one uh hour have completed. So I should go to the part two and part three. So who would like to come up? Please tell me. Maybe I can just uh take five people only. So who? Really interested to go for part two and part three. So who yes. have you prepared or not? Okay, I can. What is now. what is part three? 
uh, okay it's related to the uh, i already uh, mentioned in the beginning like part 2 and part 3 are related in part 2 uh, examiner will give you some cue card and you need to think about it for a minute and you you will explain the answer uh, you will get 2 minute to explain the answer after that part 3 is follow up question which is related to part 2 only but part 3 questions are quite tough okay 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 so avi would you like to go for part 2 and part 3 after rohu yeah i would like to go okay, with part 2 so okay take one cue card from those speed messages and try to prepare yeah. okay okay so there are some key points also there uh, in i think in the cue card so the in part 2 in this 2 minute you need to explain those question and follow up question i will ask later then only you will uh, know that uh, what will do is okay okay so rohu are you ready yes can i start yes okay so which one let me uh, second one describe second. an invention Okay. Okay, go for it. Okay. Yeah. Well, in this contemporary world, so uh, there are lot of invention has been made and that has impacted on people's life. Here I would like to talk about an invention which has changed the people's life and uh, the invention is uh, smartphones and uh, this has impacted a lot uh, on people's life and it has totally changed the life of people before people used to uh, do their work by own and uh, they are not relying on uh, any product any thing and uh, they usually used to do their work by own and even the calculator they have like they used to count uh, by themselves but uh, after the invention of uh, smartphone has been done the people uh, are just relying on the smartphone and uh, using the technology and always like uh, uh, if they are having any work they just search uh, and they uh, rely on the on the product and here i would also mention that uh, people are just uh, wait <laughs> i'm nervous wait yeah it's fine So yeah, yeah, and there is a good use of smartphones also and uh, like people used to communicate with each other and they can search anything and they can uh, do online shopping as well. And usually they uh, stay in contact with their kids and kids. So I would, uh, so it is the most important uh, product or thing for the older and younger people as well because older people, whenever they are bored, just to use mobile phones, uh, and to watch some news and they stay in communicate they communicate with uh, their family members and younger people are using technology a lot in mobile phones that's it God. okay so you took uh, 1 minute 30 second okay so it's good you need some more practice so that you uh, can talk for 2 minutes because cue card session are for 2 minutes okay Yes, um, yes. examiner will stop you then only you need to stop okay so let me tell you one okay. mistake of your it's like you are using before people uh, you should use before phone okay uh, so i mean yeah. that sentence phone is uh, the correct word but the thing is that when we feel the nervousness automatically we do mistake that's the only thing uh, during exam we just need to uh, be so confident at least confidence yes. is important if we will feel nervousness then automatically we will do mistake if we know the things then also so try to take your uh, examiner as your friend and like uh, we talk to friends very normally not any nervousness and all so try to think like that only okay so yes thank okay. you Okay, so can I ask you the follow-up questions? Sure, you can proceed. Okay. How has technology made our life easier? 
as i earlier mentioned in the cue card so uh, most of the people are just relying on the technology whatever they are work whatever the work they are having they usually use the technology in every way and uh, for any work they are just dependent on technology so yeah yes that's it okay which invention do you think is the most useful at home okay i guess the most useful invention is washing machine because it helps a lot and uh, to helps a lot to wash the clothes and uh, uh, without washing machine it consumes a lot of time to wash clothes and it is not uh, it is clean but uh, it saves a lot of time when we use washing machine as well that the product can dry the clothes okay so is it more difficult for old people to accept new technologies yes i guess most of the older people are not having any uh, notion about the new things and uh, new technologies which have been invented and most of the youth people are tending towards uh, new products so whenever there is new something new in the market they usually try to buy that and they try to explore new things but older people are having the notion of just using the things whatever they know and they don't want to explore the things okay what can be done to help old people learn to make use of new technologies could you repeat what can be done to help old people learn to mm-hmm. make use of new technologies if we want uh, to make them learn with the use of uh, new technologies so definitely we should uh, help them to uh, explore the things if uh, we are bringing up new product in the home and uh, uh, after bringing it up uh, we have to explain the older people that how it uh, has used and how can we use that product and we should uh, try to give the basic knowledge of that product new technologies to the older people so that they may get to know the idea how to use uh, the new product or technology thanks a lot for your time rohu honestly speaking your follow up questions are more better <laughs> than q kai <laughs> but part 3 is quite uh, tougher than part 2 okay so yeah but the thing is that in case of q card we need to speak for continuously for 2 minutes. minutes so yeah. try to use any sentences that's why they you, they give you 1 minute for thinking it could be wrong it could be correct uh, it could be your imagination try to just use sentences don't stop at least you need to yeah. uh, complete 2 uh, um, minutes okay so who would like to come up next yeah uh, yeah me Okay, so which yeah. one? Yeah, yeah. I will go with first one. Uh, okay. When I, I were when I was stuck in traffic jam. Okay. 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 Describe okay. a time when you were stuck in yeah. a traffic. So when okay. uh, actually it's a, a, a actually a, I was traveling from Samastipur to Patna. That is that is in Bihar. When I was traveling from traveling via bus, I was traveling via bus. when i was traveling from samastipur to patna it takes uh, around 3 to 4 hours it takes around 3 to 4 hours to reach there uh, after traveling 2 hours uh, there uh, before reaching patna there is a gandhi setu is there so there is uh, that is popular for traffic jam so i went there and it's like 2 3 hours i got stuck in there uh, it's like 2 3 hours i got stuck in there Uh, then what happened uh, we, uh, then uh, i think it take 2 3 hours and people are quarreling each other people are la- telling each other i will i'm going with this way i'm going with that way and some bike riders are going so they took help they took help and they left like someone was going for a uh, uh, took uh, uh, for catching a train someone was ha- having ex- some exam so they are they are panicking so, uh, so uh, in, while waiting i i was uh, i was doing uh, i was i was listening songs uh, watching movies and sometimes 
and after after one hour i think i uh, i i called my friend one of my friend and i was keep keep talking keep talking and, and then uh, we we were laughing together and discussing each other like how the people are behaving and how what's happening here and someone was fighting outside like how can you uh, do this how can you go like this and uh, and like that uh, and after uh, after some time uh, all these things happened then i was like uh, then i uh, played a movie and i kept watching uh, uh, but again uh, i i thought but again i thought okay, uh, okay time it's boring up. it's Too boring that's great at least you you have completed 2 minutes okay uh, i was okay. taking the time and i thought maybe you skip the third question uh but then again you uh, speak about that so it's really nice so there are some bullet points right so try to uh, take all the bullet yeah. point then automatically it's easy for us to complete 2 minutes okay and uh, yeah, one more thing is like yeah. uh, yeah and what everyone mentioning uh, the starting point is really good because uh, you mentioned the places also you mentioned like you travel by a bus so everything was uh, good but the thing is that you were uh, explaining the thing about past sometimes you are using present also how you are using what's happening here okay so that means you are telling something about present because you are using here what's mean it could be what is that, or what was also that, but the thing is that if you are uh, explaining okay. about past so it could be like what's happening there are you getting my point not here there correct so try not to use those yeah. correct grammar because um, yeah. otherwise yeah, yeah. Uh, our bands will decrease okay so thanks a lot for them oh wait, wait, wait. follow up questions i keep st- i stuck a lot i guess i think i stuck a lot um, while speaking no, like i, I didn't feel like for that much three second five second no yeah, i so, i'm telling you that i i was stucking a lot yeah it's happened because well, uh, you were uh, just trying okay with practice you can so uh, did you book your exam already or What? Do you have time, or you already booked your exam? I mean, did you book your IELTS exam? No, 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 no. I'm not preparing for. No, that. then, then definitely you will, you will get time for practicing. Okay, so okay, so the question yeah. is follow up questions. Yeah. Uh, are traffic exams common in Indian cities? Yeah, it is common. I think it is common, but we can avoid. We can we can. avoid traffic jams like if people are sincere for that like uh, we we are in a way we we, we will not stuck like people are not giving some space so uh, giving some space to pass by like bikes bikes can pass but uh, we are like we have to go first we have to go first it's, it's like uh, and over they are overtaking so okay it, it, it's, it's all over india i guess and all okay. over the world also. okay yeah. why are cities today facing serious traffic issues i think people That's are not understanding the they are what what's the problem here actually all are busy in their lives all are all wants to go first uh, they are keep racing each other they, they don't have much patience for that like it, it's just a 30 second and they are keep panicking and sometimes they uh, they broke the they break the traffic rules also and that can happen that's why there there are some accidents also like suddenly they something came and it it will be not good for the jib uh, persons who are crossing with the jib zebra cross yeah okay what can be done to improve traffic conditions in cities we we should we should aware people that we, if we can wait it, it it should be it will be easier for other people like it, it would be easier to convey like if uh, like 
like ambulance like if if ambulance is passing by everyone giving some space for their and um, for for them to go easily and they will not face, face difficult if if you guys are allow me you guys to uh sorry abhi carry on abhi are you there yeah abhi okay carry on okay okay let me ask you the next question can developing public transport help resolve traffic issues in cities can developing public transport developing public transport help resolve traffic issues in cities yeah yeah it resolve like like if we catch bus if we catch uh, people have uh, if many people having car so sometimes they they can use public also like bus Uh, they can sense they can walk also uh, it will be helpful for for for, for okay if you do something like sometimes really okay okay your friend to even yeah uh, abhi your voice is not that clear okay okay anyway your answers are good but the thing is that see rather than beating around the bush like uh, yeah. just uh, using this uh, some uh, sentences like again and again uh, try to use some uh, standard sentences in your uh, answer see you are beginner so it's totally fine for you and you are trying so it's really amazing okay. but the thing is that uh, in future if you want to go for ielts then try to uh, give the standard answers in case of follow up questions other is your answers are good points are also valid Okay, so who would like to come up next? For yeah. thank you. Yes, Leo, would you like to come up? Thank you. Yes, sure. Yeah, why not? Who is one? Lake one, lake and river. What is the importance of? Can you please repeat? Can you please tell me the number? Okay, let Which me check. Which card? Let me check. I read that question, but I forget it. You yeah, okay. talk about uh, important four, river four, and lake in your country and hometown. Number four. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Carry on. Time start. Okay, so India is a country which is known for its science, beauty of nature, and one can see the rivers, beaches, lake, and waterfalls and springs. they are not only uh, the source of beauty it's also fulfill the need of water for the irrigations uh, irrigations and some rivers are also known for their historical importance in india uh, both types of lakes and uh, and are there are there are lot of lakes and river in our country and those uh, lakes and river put the important point importance uh, footprint of for our natural beauty and man made its so today i would love to talk about lake because uh, in my city there are one beautiful lake so where i visited several times uh, with my friends uh, i never get time to uh, i will visit with my family but it's okay uh, so and that's lake name is sakuna lake in the capital of punjab uh, chandigarh and it is situated uh, at the footprint of the shivalik hills yeah and it is also important of the chandigarh uh, which adds the beauty uh, of the chandigarh and and when i visited uh, with my friends uh, in like a two times that lake and it it's it was really uh, I, i was really impressed by the beauty of that lake and there are large number of the people enjoyed enjoyed the beauty and there are also uh, yeah there was also arrangement of the boating and 
me and my two friends are spending a lot of quality time on the boating purpose and we also took a lot of photographs uh, when when we were enjoying on boating so it was good memory i have and see and most important about this lake like see one side of lake is the beauty of city of chandigarh and another side is a bunch of trees and bunch of uh, uh another uh, bunch of people uh, always there visited and also uh, another side uh, the beauty of shivalik lake that's make the nature of beauty and the nature of chandigarh yeah and leo you took 3 minutes okay uh, not 3 minutes 2 minute uh, 50 second so and uh, one more thing is like how do you know about it you didn't mention that and why does it impress you so much it's also like you didn't mention mention till 2 minute okay so see we have only 2 minute so first of all try to complete the bullet point then you can tell about something anything okay but uh, in the beginning try to complete your bullet point so that uh, if they stop you in uh, when 2 minute will complete it then if there's you didn't mention one or two bullet point then your band score uh, sorry band score will decrease badly are you getting my point yeah yeah i got it thank you ma'am okay <laughs> okay sure okay so can i ask you the follow up questions yes yeah, sure ma'am i would love to give the answer if i yeah okay uh why do many people like going to places with water such as lakes rivers or seas okay so well so people are visited uh, lake and river because whenever they got uh, stress so people need some beautiful uh, nature and if they got spare time so they wanted to go there and the beauty makes uh, people a uh, smiles so that's why also in that way people is remove the stress so that's why um, i could recognize uh, or understand people always consider to visit uh, uh, always people consider to um, uh, river and lake and beaches yeah okay yeah. what kinds of leisure activities do people like to do in water places okay uh, so well so i uh, observe about people always whenever i visited these those places people loves to take photographs might be uh, they want yes you are not audible you are you there hello yes nk uh okay. wait how are you come on okay wait, okay some session is going on after that we will okay, okay okay nk okay, okay, okay sure. you, you are you there sorry i was just speaking in my network sucks sorry okay okay so what kinds of leisure activities do people like to do in water places okay uh well so i wasted a lot of time and it's my quality also i was i'm always try to observe people so i got one and two things from the pe- uh, people they love to do capture the photographs might we uh, they consider to make it frame after that's a period of time and also sometimes observe uh, people love to put the uh, he uh, hand under the water and might be they are uh, they wanted to feel the beauty of nature how when water drops on the ha- hand so what kind of feeling gave to humans from the water yeah okay why do people like water sports water water sports 
लाइक स्विमिंग बोटिंग राफ्टिंग साफिंग स्कूबा डाइविंग दिस थिंग्स व्हाई डू पीपल लाइक कोड प्लीज रिपीट योर क्वेश्चन आई आई डोंट नो गॉट नेटवर्क प्रॉब्लम अगेन ओके व्हाई डू पीपल लाइक वाटर स्पोर्ट्स वाटर स्पोर्ट्स या लाइक बोटिंग स्विमिंग राफ्टिंग ओके ओके स्कूबा डाइविंग दिस थिंग्स ओके okay so yes i like uh, also i like many time activities in the water like swimming and diving and, s- and i remember when i had gone to uh, uh that's lake and so i spent like a summer vacations with my friends so what i like i consider people also like those things like uh, why when i uh, go for went for boating so i can feel every beauty of the nature beauty of the water and also uh, i try to uh, uh, talk to water like what water wanna say to us because water gave lot of things for the living li- the purpose of the living life so that's why also people love to okay do people travel by boat in your country do people travel by boat in your country hello am i audible yes you are okay question is do people travel by boat in your country yeah uh, i already mentioned in my uh, in my answer to you uh, also i love to uh, boating and also i saw people love to go, do, uh, doing boating because uh, whenever they went to water sports so they are enjoying with friends with couples uh, uh, during the boating and they capture the memories from the camera and it makes a uh, makes a frame for for next next life and also whenever they got the, that those frames they mesmerize the whole memories and also mesmerize the beauty of the nature yeah okay do the rivers in your country suffer from serious pollution okay yeah um uh, i remember one story about the Ma- Ma- maharashtra there is a uh, there were a one beach and that uh, beach was too much uh, polluted uh, from the garbage but recently one's uh, good man uh, good persons remove and re- recycle the all garbage but i can remember that story only uh, in maharashtra there were one beach and uh, it's it was uh, polluted with full of uh, garbage yeah okay leo thanks for your answer but in case of follow up question Uh, like whatever uh, examiners ask we need to give that like um, at least you spoke so that's really good at least you try to give the answer so you will get good ban but the thing is that i ask you do people travel by boat in your country so traveling is different and enjoying some time some leisure time is different correct so travel uh, we can use like people living in coastal areas like who live uh, the areas near the seas and all uh do travel by boat for short distance and all okay are you ready yeah so in case i got of it. traveling but okay. uh, okay. but scarlet uh, i was giving the answer but when i put my eyes and capture the my mic so i i i got like my mic was uh, suffering from network issue yes it was but uh, it was fine we able to hear you we are able to hear you okay so who would like to come up next or hi listener yes okay so have you prepared any cue card sorry a very very good evening ma'am yeah good evening okay so have you prepared any cue card no i didn't see it where is it let me check it out okay okay then okay okay then i am let me ask you the part one question only then i will uh, end this session because it has been completed one hour already okay so 
let me ask you some uh, part one question then you should try to check the pin messages there are some cue card you should try those and tomorrow if i'll take the i session then try to answer okay so first sure, question is would you like to introduce yourself yeah this is me listener mr pool i am the police person on this planet and i belong india and my profession is i am a graphic designer and this is my like real profession and i love to do painting sketching illustration and blogging and reading book yes i rest my case carlet your mic is Yes, I'm audible. Sorry for the interruption. I mean, um, I got busy somewhere. Okay, so am I audible? Yes, now. Now you okay. are audible. Okay, so next question is, uh, what do you usually eat outside? Yeah, I just go outside and sometimes I feel so I can do. I have water ball. That is my favorite. and i'm not too much big fan of like junk food so i rarely eat something outside and water ball is my favorite when i go outside so if i found uh, there is a like good water ball water ball so i will prefer to have okay so are you good at cooking no i am not adroit at cooking and that is not my cup of tea even i know i can improvise with cooking but not fully Okay, so um, what kind of food do you like to eat? Yeah, I prefer to have what kind of food. What kind of food? For uh, home cuisine, especially, and the uh, food that in home. So I prefer to have that thing. Apart from that, sometimes I go outside, so I prefer to have. little chinese food not too much i am not too much into that thing okay listener you spoke well and thanks for your time and yeah it was fine so unfatimable are you there unfatimable so ma'am yes yes listener yes ma'am i'd be with uh, i'd appreciate you if you give me a feedback genuine feedback about my pronunciation in ncs and my sentence structure how i reply yeah i already gave the feedbacks but the thing is that in case of you uh, i got busy that why i didn't listen clearly honestly i'm telling but the thing is that you whatever you were speaking it was nice and you were not fumbling at least uh, whatever i was asking you were uh, giving the answers so i think you were fine if i uh, uh, got any mistake then definitely i mention that i didn't get any sure ma'am my gratitude knows no bound for it all i can say is thanks thank you okay okay sure so unfathomable we are about to end the session but uh, i think you are very good in our session i already listen you most of the time so would you like to participate yes ma'am i will Okay, so with Q card, I already pin some Q card there. Or with part one questions, ask me part one question because I won't be able to speak for a long time. So ask me for part one today. Okay, okay, sure. Would you like to introduce yourself? Okay, introduction. Okay, myself and Tatu Mabel. I am a student of class 11th with a science background and I have keen interest in reading and writing and that's what I do when I'm free I think that's sufficient 
Yeah, sure. So let's talk about health. Do you have any specific diet? Not really. I am not a kind of person who is very much health conscious. I so there's no particular pattern of a uh, health diet that I follow in my day to day life. How often do you go for medical checkups? I when it comes to going for a medical kit checkup, I go in for every every month. I go. because i think that yes health does play a prominent role but i'm not able to uh, cope that much with my health but i do visit the doctor every month okay what kind of exercise do you do to keep fit talking about exercise i really don't do that but i go in for walk daily so that is the most that i do when it comes about taking care of my physical health Okay. What sports do you enjoy watching? I'm really not that kind of a person who loves watching sport. But uh, if I uh, I'm sitting with my family, then whenever the cricket session is on, I prefer watching that with my friends and family because it's not the kind of sport that attracts me, but spending time with my family together is what is more important and I never lose an opportunity. whenever something happens like that okay what sport are you good at honestly when it comes to sports related to outdoor activities i am good at nothing because the first thing is it's not of my interest but yes i play chess quite well and it is one of the sport that i love to do but i usually don't uh, indulge much i prefer doing something else talking about reading and writing rather than any sport how often do you exercise or play sport it's very rare like once in a blue moon kind of situation because i don't enjoy much when it comes to playing sports so whenever my fam my friends are there around and we don't have anything else to do so we just go out and play or just do some random stuff just to enjoy ourselves Okay. Thanks a lot for your understandable. You spoke really very well. Okay, so thank you, ma'am. Ah, uh, yeah. Session is in. We will meet tomorrow, sadly at seven p.m. for our speaking session. Ah, uh, all three parts are there. Q card, follow up question, and Python all are there. Okay, so thanks a lot to all the participants and thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. Thank you ma'am thank you so much okay